Like, if I was gonna do stand-up, if I was gonna do the UFC, like, I wanted to be fully charged, you know? Because what I noticed when I started taking it is one of the immediate things that I noticed was that I had a better recall of words. And my ability to form sentences seemed smoother. It seemed like I had an extra gear, like I was one step ahead of conversation. Interestingly enough, that's one of the tests that showed statistical significance in our little pilot study was verbal memory. So recalling words and being able to use your vocabulary. It just makes sense. And it's it's kind of a fascinating thing because there's a lot of people that they look at things like nootropics or vitamins and nutrients. And one of the things that gets tossed around, which is kind of hilarious, is the term pseudoscience. But pseudoscience is one of the most hilarious ones because how do you think these things got extracted? Like they got extracted because of science. Like it's not pseudoscience, it's, a it's actual science. Like there's only one way you're gonna get choline or vitamin B12 or any nutrient. You're gonna have to get someone who's way I smarter than you, figure out how to make yeah. this stuff. Uh -oh. And th this is, th these aren't like imaginary compounds that people have invented on their own and then tried to sell as snake oil. These are actual nutritional supplements. They're actually parts of food and these extracts have been proven to be beneficial. Sure, take the example of the alpha brain and in it has is a compound called the Perseus serrata which is an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. So it prevents the breakdown of acetylcholine. If you didn't know that the brain needed acetylcholine and that was a neurotransmitter, and you didn't know that there was something called an acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, you would never know to search this exotic club moss out of some pond in China as it was naturally growing. And of course they did find that and they found the way that it had these compounds, huperzine A, huperzine B, huperzine C, which actually helped give the brain the ability to have more ready available acetylcholine. Interesting phenomenon and what we found is that alpha brain which helps in, you know, nourish the body's acetylcholine by providing raw alpha glycerol phosphorylcholine, one of the raw nutrients, and the acetylcholine esterase inhibitor. So it's getting it two ways. By having more acetylcholine, acetylcholine helps regulate the REM state in your sleep. So the more acetylcholine you have, the deeper and broader your REM state is going to be. It's 100% legit. If I go to a UFC and I don't have alpha brain, I panic. <laughs> I really do. I remember running to you with yeah. a couple sticks of 180. It's not a joke. You, you know, I'm, I'm, I take it before every podcast. I, I even oftentimes take it on the air just to let people know, like, I really take this. Yeah. And everybody I know that I've given it to, everybody I know that I've, you know, that I, that I trust their opinion and I've had them try it, they all have the same result. They, they, they say, this does something. It gives me, like, some boost, some mental boost.